Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, I'm Kiana, make sure to subscribe, the button is down below. Today I am going to be recreating my cringy selfies in my video where I recreated childhood pictures. I said that this video was coming and I actually did a poll on Instagram and also on Twitter to see which one you guys would rather see me recreating my cringy selfies or wearing clothes from my childhood for a week and it was kind of like 50 50 for the longest but recreating my cringy selfies one like this is gonna be the first one just because this picture is really funny and i actually still have that shirt so it'll be easy to like recreate it means that i have to like change into jeans because like you can see that i was wearing jeans in that picture and just it's a rainy cold day and i honestly do not want to put pants on but for the video gotta do it all right so we got our outfit which it's just this like black top attached to this purple and black like the jacket type thing and it honestly i think that i was going to church in that picture because that's like one of my go-to like church shirts whenever i used to go to church back then and then i'm kind of cheating and i'm going to be wearing capris instead of jeans but i mean same concept because you can't like see all of the jeans. Alright, we got our outfit on and this picture was actually taken in the bathroom. It was taken in my grandma's bathroom because like we shared a ba bathroom back then. So I'm just going to take it in my bathroom because like same concept and not going to lie, I was sitting in the sink in that picture. One thing that I like about this picture is that my hair is like already down in the picture so it's like minimal effort like i have to do nothing besides wear these clothes oh gosh these capris are kind of tight on me because i haven't worn them in a while so getting on the sink is a struggle another thing is that my hair was kind of swept to the side like more than it was in the picture so this is what we got all right so this is the outcome honestly I guess it was, it was kind of spot on. It was kind of hard to like make the face that I was making and like also get my nose scrunched up at the same time is really complicated. It honestly looks like I'm taking a crap. So that's the yeah. next picture that we are gonna do. It's just like me making a weird face and it was not too long after my brother moved out and like I like immediately like just put my stuff in there and clean that room for a while and i was having a sleepover with a friend and i had her take that picture of me so it's gonna be very interesting trying to get that angle by myself i'm gonna see if i have those shorts if they're like downstairs or in my room or anything like that because i know for a fact that they're with old clothes somewhere because those shorts were short back then and now they're probably like underwear on me so we're gonna try to find them if not, I will put on some similar Currently in the garage because I know for a fact that it's not in the spare room and it's not in my room. So we're going to try to look through my boxes and find those exact shorts, which is depressing because like I know that I like recently like was planning on getting rid of them. So I know I have a box somewhere with them, but we're going to put on these. <laughs> They're pink like the other ones. They have like cupcakes and stuff like that on them and I'm pretty sure it's girl sizes it is Circo brand or however you say it. it's like an old Target brand or maybe it's still a Target brand I can't remember and yeah it's girl sizes it's an extra large 14 16 and you can tell that I had these for a while more than for the longest time because the elastic is completely stretched. They're also just paired with like a black tank. So that's what we got. Pretty simple. Right, so this is the outfit. The shorts actually like fit me kind of well. I mean, even if like the elastic wasn't stretched out, I feel like it would be like semi 
decent on me which is really weird that I can fit into all these like girl sizes but now we have to do my hair because I was wearing like my hair in like a high side ponytail right. so my hair is done and in the background you could see that like the room was messy and my room is kind of messy but I don't want the entire thing in it so there's some pillows on the floor so that's what we got i chose this one right here because i saw it in the background it's actually a pillow that my sister-in-law gave to me so shout out to tiffany for that but i still don't have it too so i can have it in the back right, so this is what we got i actually like how this one turned out because it's like super freaking similar and <laughs> like the look on my face is funny. Maybe the next one that I would create except for my curly hair because I'm not gonna like get my hair wet just to get my hair curly. So this yeah. one I can just leave the tank top on that I have on because in that picture I was wearing a tank top even though you can't see and then I was just wearing this like cheetah or leopard print skirt. I don't really know which one it is because I'm that stupid. I was also wearing boots, but the boots that I was wearing in that picture, they didn't fit me. So we're gonna be wearing like the same thing, like black boots, but ones that actually fit me. Okay, y'all, I'm wearing the outfit. And tell me why, especially with the boots and the skirt, I feel like this is something that Hannah Montana would have worn. Like, I feel like all I need to do is put on a Hannah Montana wig and, like, you know, be living the best of both worlds. The only thing that I need to do right now, I'm downloading CamWow on my phone because, yes, it was taken on CamWow, obviously, with the, like, pink filter. Obviously, I hadn't had that in so freaking long. That used to be, like the OG way to take pictures on an iPhone. This one turned out really good too. This one that we're gonna do is this one, which I don't know why I'm making that face. It's in the garage, so I need to go into the garage. And I don't have that shirt. I was wearing a sun drop shirt and honestly, my stupid teenager self decided to turn it into kind of a crop top and you know how like whenever you like slit like this all around the shirt to make those like fringes that's what i did to it so we're gonna have to improvise i feel like this shirt will do it's like a simple t-shirt and it's honestly like the same like tealish color the pajama bottoms either because honestly like i'm a freaking giant so i'm gonna try to find some old pajama pants i can put on that are like similar or the same color we are just going to use these Cookie Monster pants, honestly, because that's the closest thing I've Things have obviously been moved around since then, because this picture was taken, like, I want to say, like, I'm bad at math. Seven years ago. Seven years ago. So, at least we have the closets in the background. This is, like, the most unflattering picture of me ever in both of them. But we did it. I realized that I should have brought my other outfit out here because the last picture was taken in the garage as well. So I gotta go do a quick outfit change, a quick Hannah Montana, and then bring my butt back out here. Last picture is a very unflattering picture of me. It's like not showing up the best on camera. Usually I was on the like little scooter that we have in the garage that's like for old people. And I was also wearing, um, a like Chinese hat um, we had like like a world week or something like that kind of thing at school so we had like different hats for different stuff and I was wearing this like Super Bowl for Jesus shirt from our church and then I was also wearing um, my PE shorts from school which I actually don't have those anymore got rid of all my uniforms and stuff like that so we're gonna wear these because they're gray shorts it's also gonna be another hard picture to get by myself especially because we've moved stuff around in the garage since then like it's on the other side of the garage and it's also like in an awkward place so 
should be interesting so i don't even know if we have that hat anymore so i'm gonna have to try to find it psych just kidding we had the hat like i knew that i had seen it a few months ago and it was exactly exactly where i had seen it it was upstairs so that's what we got going on i'm gonna have to like tuck my hair like behind my shoulders because in the picture it looks like i'm bald so <sighs> i'm not gonna shave my head that was genuinely the hardest picture that i had to take during this video and even with the other video like my friend shelby took that picture so i was like i was really struggling like especially because like there was like no place to set my phone and i didn't want to drop my phone and like crack it or something so it's a very dangerous show y'all my struggles i was close very inappropriate photo got a little closer closer that one not so much nope the best one that i got is honestly this one and you can't really see the entire scooter but that's the best that we got since i didn't have anybody to take the, the struggle is real when you have to be your own photographer anyways that's all i have for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to like comment and subscribe and also turn on my post notifications and I will see you guys in my next one.